Throughout our history, entrepreneurs have used the power of ideas and creativity to deliver products that have changed our lives for the better. What do all those products have in common? Intellectual property. The foundation of this innovation has been intellectual property. The respect for intellectual property and the belief that you can own and benefit from your ideas is what drives people to take the risks and invest in the innovations that make our lives better. Not be there. IPR encourages innovation and without innovation we could never have new drug discovery, particularly for diseases and illnesses of the future. So for our children and our children's children, we would not have new drugs and therefore it is extremely critical that patents be protected. It is absolutely essential to give the people that engage in creative activity the security to know that the work they do and the blood, sweat, and tears that they put into the development of new technologies actually provides a benefit to them that induces them to engage in activity. Across the globe, intellectual property faces a number of challenges. Piracy of music, movies, and software is rampant in many parts of the world, and some government actions have put the intellectual property rights or companies and industries in jeopardy. The Canadian economy still faces significant challenges. Our productivity growth, the main driver of living standards, is sagging. Compared with, country, with other countries, our presence in fast-growing markets like China and India is weak. We do worse than the Americans in commercialization and research, protecting that research through intellectual property laws and getting ideas from the lab to the market. These challenges are serious. Good economic leaders plan ahead, anticipating emerging challenges and making the right investments when times are good. Intellectual property represents the most significant pathway to innovation, creativity, and opportunity for consumers. Intellectual property protections will provide the incentives to invest in the solutions. In As we've seen throughout the video, lots of people have been discussing intellectual property, but let's take a look at what the implications are economically. A patent holder is a licensed monopolist, which means they're going to search the demand curve for the point where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, they're going to produce at that given output, and obviously it appears as though we're going to have a social welfare loss to society. Now it seems strange that we're going to promote this in one area of the economy, and in the other, we're going to try to break up monopolies with things such as the Sherman Antitrust Act. Our argument is that the benefits from innovation resulting from strong intellectual property rights far exceed this social welfare loss. Intellectual property is difficult to define because it's very intangible. An idea is fleeting and it can be easily stolen, reproduced, and copied. And it's for this reason that we want to make sure that we have strong intellectual property rights because we want people to continue to come up with new ideas and new innovations as they're a source of increased efficiency in factories in terms of productivity. And they're also an increased tra technology transfer from R&D firms to production firms, and it's an essential component of the economic growth and development process.